A shuttle mission to upgrade the Hubble Space Telescope, scheduled for launch this week, has been postponed because of a computer problem. Scientists here and around the world are eager to see the service mission go forward and succeed. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Long delayed and at one point canceled after the loss of Space Shuttle Columbia, NASA's fourth and final service mission to the Hubble Space Telescope awaited only favorable weather for the launch window. Astronauts were trained and ready to make repairs, to install new batteries and guidance devices, and to deliver two advanced scientific instruments. It now looks as if they will also replace a computer system called a science data formatter. The failure of one of these units in late September has postponed the mission, most likely until next February. Better late than never, say scientists who look forward to using the new instruments. One is a camera that extends Hubble's color vision. The camera will produce as spectacular images as we have seen from the Hubble before and more so now in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum all the way to the infrared. Now as you move more to the infrared you can see objects very early in the universe. So you can start seeing from the Hubble telescope for the first time the very earliest galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. And from the baby galaxies, from the baby universe, up to where we see with a big service from the ground, which is the present time, we can basically trace the evolution of the whole universe. The other new instrument is called the Cosmic Origin Spectrograph, which should improve measurements related to an object's distance, age, and motion. And by focusing on distant quasars, astrophysicist Netta Bacall explains, the new spectrograph could also reveal a lot about so-called empty space. So the distant quasars serve like flashlight. They emit light. They serve like flashlight they il that illuminate the entire universe between their great distances and, and us. And you measure and you map it and you see where is all the gas distributed? Uh, what is it? Hydrogen, helium, other elements. Um, what exists out there in the universe? Patrick Regan, NJN News, Princeton.